So I guess my big takeaway from this little experiment I got to uh, I got to try is that I'm not really the rider yet that would feel a big difference between this bike and that bike in final overall points and standing and, and, and race finishes. I think that there are obviously guys that are good enough that, you know, if you put them on this bike, they would not finish anywhere close to where they would finish on that just because this type of a bike holds them back. The older bike, you know, the modern technology is better. So, but I'm not that guy. I'm a middle of the class C guy. So there's a lot left that I need to learn and get better before I even think about, you know, oh, I need to upgrade my bike. You know, that's kind of my take. The second point is that I race in Virginia and this hair scramble series and a lot of the races that I do, they are like very technical-ish mountain stuff, side hill off camber, you know, creek bottom stuff, like like slower technical stuff. I mean, we race in the mountains a decent amount, probably about half of the season schedule is like mountain tracks. And I would have I would have literally either thrown myself off the mountain on this bike or like <laughs> just just had to call it quits. Because I just I couldn't I wouldn't have been able to handle it. There was too much power, too quick, too much you know, just too much bike for that type of racing. For for the race that I raced in, it was perfect because it was open. It was very flowy, very fast field sections. Like I said, I mean, it was a, it was ten mile laps, and we did them in 30, 35 minutes. So that kind of tells you how fast it was. Versus this bike, that like I am super super comfortable on this bike in the tight stuff, in the technical stuff on the hills, on the mountains, in the rocks. This bike is very, very well suited for the type of riding that we do in Virginia, the type of racing we do. Now, my brother, he races in the Sorks series down in Georgia, and they they do go up into Tennessee a little bit. That series starts like now, uh, as I'm filming this video, it's, it's October, but it starts in October and it actually runs over winter and, and stops in like March, April, maybe just cause it gets so hot down in Georgia, but I've raced with him down there a couple of times and that is a different type of terrain. It's more open. It's more sandy. It's more, you know, there's a lot of guys I think down there that run four fifties, whereas up here in Virginia, it's pretty rare to find a guy on a four fifty. Um, even at some of the higher classes, like in, in A and B class, it's pretty rare to find a guy on a 450, um, let alone, you know. So that's my big takeaway is, I, number one, I'm not, I am not a good enough rider where a jump to the bike is gonna make a difference for me in race finish, uh, you know, finish standings. And then second, secondly, my, uh, the, the type of terrain that we are racing in uh, is is actually better suited to two stroke, especially smaller two strokes. Um, you know, it just is. So, yeah, we'll see what happens. I uh, like I said, this is my second year racing in in thirty C, um, and I am very I'm pretty proud of this season. I kind of fell off at the end because I had a flat tire and in one race and. But I finished fifth, and that's the best I've ever finished uh, since I started racing three three years ago. And um, yeah, so next year, I think the big things I want to do is obviously <laughs> I'd like to get a new seat cover. You know, this one's uh, this one's seen better days here. It's not even actually if you see this, look, it's not even maybe new plastics. I've ran these for two years. Um, yeah, but anyway, I'm just going to do some stuff to kind of, you know, touch this up and, and I'm just going to push it again. I'm going to really try to practice um, and, and try to make a run at it. I mean, I just, I really enjoy racing these things. I don't come from a background. I rode my first motorcycle ever when I was like 27. You know, I'd never ridden a pit bike, never grew up on that kind of stuff. So 
I've kind of gotten addicted to this. Um, as most of y'all know, I mean, if you're watching it this far, like, and you race, there's it's this crazy unique combination of like competitiveness, like against other people, you know, internal like like almost like wrestling where it's or or like running like long distance running where you have to like fight yourself and you have to push yourself like in your own head uh you know the preparation aspect like you know you can just show up every day and and race but man it pays off to to do some riding at home and some running and lifting and, and that type of stuff and then i like tinkering on stuff i mean having an older bike, it's kind of a necessity, but I enjoy it. Um, and, uh, yeah. And then the coolest thing that is like, if you get a camper or you show up and you camp out for these weekends, like you end up meeting some fantastic people. I have raced against some people this year, especially like these guys that I'm racing is are amazing dudes. They all have families. They all have other stuff in their life going on. They all like work. We all work full time. And it's just, it has been so amazing to to race with these guys, kind of see them every weekend, every other weekend, multiple times a year, and then get to camp out with their families and their kids and just get to enjoy uh, doing something together that that we all enjoy. I mean, it's it's kind of rare that you do that. There's not a lot of stuff as an adult that you get to, you get to have that kind of connection and, and uh, continuity with people. So... It's been fun. I'm, uh, my wife is on board. My kid loves motorcycles more than anything. He loves motorcycles and helmets for some reason. He loves to put a helmet on. But um, yeah, anyway, I'm, I'm, uh, I'm, I'm, in, I'm into it. And uh, yeah, I appreciate every single one of y'all that watch these videos. It's fun. It's fun, fun, fun to watch and race and try to see yourself and try to... Uh, you know, see where you stack up and it's just been a blast. So if you ever see me out at, at any of these races, um, just come say hi. My name's Zach. You know, I'm probably the tallest guy out there. I look like an idiot on this bike. I'm way too big for it, but, uh, yeah, come say hi. I, I'd love to meet you and, and talk about anything at all. I mean, yeah, it's been fun. So uh, we have banquets coming up and then the next season starts in March. So I'm going to try to ride a decent amount this winter. Um, and, uh, yeah. And not have to start from scratch when next season starts. I think that's the big one that I've learned is this season. I didn't ride at all or sorry, last winter. I didn't ride at all. So this season I kind of had to start from scratch and spin up trying to catch up with everybody else. So I'm not going to do that. But yeah, sounds good. I hope you enjoyed watching these videos. Please, please comment and just say, hey, you know, tell me, tell me who you are and where you are. And if you race with me, I mean, what number you are. It's, it's been fun. Um, so I appreciate it. I will see y'all next time.
like throwing me forward on the bike.
Holy shit. Yeah, it's fine. I got my last lap, so I'm happy. Okay. I, I literally thought that I was not going to get this. <laughs> Dude, I have had arm pumps the entire time. No shit? Yes, it is absolutely ridiculous. Pretty bad, huh? Yes, this thing is way too much for me. Really? That's fine. That's fine. All right, man. Get it in. I'm very glad. I, th I thought I was going to get caught for sure. No shit. <laughs> By the leaders. Good lord, man. It's embarrassing. It's not your bike. I know, but it's like... What are you going to do? <laughs> Better have fun. Yeah. No, I am now. Now that I know I got this one. All right, brother. Thank you. I appreciate it. Yeah. It's got a clutch. <laughs> 